hi guys so this is a finished product and i'll be showing you step by step how i got this look all right so i'm starting with my foundation which is the fit me 356 after i added moisturizer to my face all right and so i am going in now with my mascara which is from nocebe in france and i am just kind of brightening up the brows a little bit because they're kind of not as visible as i'd want them to be and so i'm kind Kind of filling them in with the mascara and then i will be using the spoolie after to kind of um, blend it out a little bit so that it kind of has a shape and a definition and so that is what i'm doing right now as you can see i'm not the best at makeup at um eyebrows and so yeah just sit with me but i'm trying and i think it came out pretty good um so yeah so this is one method that you can use uh, if you're a beginner and you want to just kind of get your eyebrows defined. I honestly, I'm due for a wax and so I'll be doing that pretty soon. But for now, this is what my brows are looking like. I think they have grown out a lot since, since the last wax set. And so I'll be doing that again pretty soon to kind of get them more defined and so forth. And then I'm going in with my concealer and I am just getting rid of a lot of it excess stuff that would have been left over from the mascara all right and then i'm kind of adding some below my eyes um and then also on my chin and then blending it out all right let's get to the next bit all right so in the next bit you can see me adding some powder here to kind of bake a little bit um so that whatever was just added kind of be um yeah something was passing just now anyway so yeah so now i am adding my eyeshadow um nussy bear palette and i'm using the uh bright pink i don't remember the exact name of that shade i don't even think it has a name to be honest yeah so i'm adding a bright pink and i'm putting that on my eye lid and also over my eyes all right i do not do a cut crease in this uh, routine but i'm just adding it over my eyes and also on my eyelid and i'm just rubbing it in so that it don't look too bozo ish you know what i'm kind of way there all right so i'm just blending it out so that the pink is not too bright and yeah it will look pretty normal and i'm also fixing my eyebrow while i'm at it um because it kind of is sticking out a little bit again like i said the wax set when comes soon so yeah we'll deal with that after but anyway for now this is what it looks like and then i'm adding it also as a blush because i also use it as a blush until i get my blush set kind of lazy you know i'm kind of really lazy if you just go to the store beauty supply store and get it so yeah so i'm using that and i think it's working out pretty good so i'm putting it on my forehead as well as my cheeks and then um other parts of my face just coming down and then blending it in as i go along um i do not contour my nose as you will see but you can also contour your nose if you want to see the nose contour let me know and i'll be sure to do one i think it's coming along nicely though um it's not as bright like i said i keep blending it out so that it's not as bright as the shade would allow it to be uh i'm melanated right so i don't want anything that's too 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 bright pink on my face and plus i'm going to work too so yeah and then i am getting rid of the powder i think i've baked long enough um i think i'm a full bread at this point and so i am getting rid of a lot of the powder and then i will also continue to rub the um the eyeshadow into my skin to kind of get it absorbed a little bit and also to kind of get rid of a lot of the pinkness and then if you know me you know that i love a good red or bright pink lippy because i think it kind of brings off my face a little bit and so i'm adding my lip gloss which i got at fontana waterloo um it's really a magical lip gloss so it's depending on your um what's that thing again i can't remember what it's called but yeah so anyway so it changes relative to something else and then i just added uh, another lip gloss on top of it as you saw ph level that is it oh god i sound slow and then i just used my perfume which is the french brand i'm free and i also used my jimmy chew i want you 
all right gotta smell good you know you have to smell good you can't look good and smell bad so i i added those two and i usually pair my perfumes to kind of get a, a better smell not to say that they can't stand on their own but i always like to smell sweety sweet you know them kind of way there i keep saying you know them kind of weirder <laughs> and then this is what i look like so i brushed out the hair and then this is the finished product and this hair by the way is a grab and go it's a glueless wig and i love it on my complexion thank you